What's up everybody? In this video, I will compare Noctua's Thermal Paste versus Gelid's Thermal Paste. We're going to answer two questions. Is one better than the other? And does old Thermal Paste still work? We're pretty much going to check the high and low temps after stress testing the processor for 10 minutes. The Noctua Thermal Paste is NTH1. The Gelid Thermal Paste is Gelid Extreme. For this test, I'm using my Lenovo ThinkPad laptop with a Ryzen 5 2500U processor. I'm also using CPU Z software to stress test the CPU. When you press this button, it starts maxing out the CPU to 100%. And I'm using hardware info to get the temperature readings on the processor. The Noctua paste was purchased recently. The Gelid paste was purchased three years prior. Though this will tell us if you can still use thermal paste three years after the purchase date. Context is very important when testing if you want to have a fair comparison. I tried my best to control for the following variables. The setting time. In my experience, the first couple of days after installing Thermal Paste could net more variable results in CPU temps. At the time of testing, the Noctua Paste had 28 days on the laptop, and when I tested the Gelid Paste, it had 14 days on the laptop. Ambient temperature has a significant impact on the temperature results. I tested both pastes at the same time of day and on a day with similar weather pattern, paste method. I use a dot method to apply the thermal paste and I don't spread the paste with a spatula. Background processes. I had the same number of programs running in the background at the time of testing both. So here are the results. On the left is Noctua's temps and on the right is Gelid's temps. At a maximum temp, they both topped out at 85 degrees Celsius. For the lowest temp at idle, this seems like Jelly did better by one degree. Is one better than the other? Both pastes are very similar in performance and any difference is insignificant. You will do fine with either one that you purchased. There really is no need to be a fanboy of either paste. Just to be clear, I have no sponsors on my channel. Does old thermal paste still work? The answer is yes. Even though I can tell that the viscosity of Gelid's three-year-old paste is a little bit more dry compared to when it was new, it still works just fine. But after three years, I might just buy a new paste to avoid any issues. So what do you think about the results? Leave your thoughts in the comment section. If this video was helpful, please give it a like and share it with others. Subscribe for more helpful content and I'll see you in the next video.